March the 7th, 1987. The Lord speaks. Fasula, I, Jesus, love you. Beloved, I have rested. Come, I am pleased. Believe me, I feel rested. Let us work with love and amend. Come, I will teach you to amend. I am the elixir of life. I am the resurrection. Vasula speaks. Jesus, how I wish that every soul loved you. It must be awful not to get a response to a love so great as yours. The Lord speaks. Vasula, my wish is already implanted in your soul. Daughter, fill me with joy and learn to say, Let us go and work. Let us do this or that. Use the word us. We are united forever. Delight me by saying, Father, may your will be done. Refuse me nothing. Daughter, today you will follow me in the dark dominion of my foe to see how these souls who refused me suffer. Vasula asks, Jesus, are they lost? The Lord answers, Those in hell are, but those in purgatory are saved. The footnote reads, Lifted in paradise. The Lord continues, But those in purgatory are saved with love by my beloved ones who make prayers and amend. Do not fear, for my light protects you, and I am with you. Vasula writes, I saw myself underground. It looked like an underground cave, dark, lit only by fire. It was damp and the ground sticky. I saw several souls in a row. They were tied and only their heads shone, faces of agony. It was very noisy and it sounded like iron machines at work. Lots of clamouring, hammerings, shrieks. It was very busy. In front of those heads was someone standing, his hand outstretched, and inside his palm was lava and his arm waved from right to left, pouring, splashing the hot lava across those faces which were swelled up from burns. Suddenly this man, who I understood was Satan, noticed our presence and turned around. Satan speaks. Look at her! And he spat on the ground with disgust and fury at the sight of Jesus' presence and mine. Miserable worm! Look at her! We even have worms nowadays coming to suck our blood. Go and F off, he said to me. Look, and he threw hot lava again across those faces. I heard them cry out, Oh, let us die. Then Satan, who looked exactly like a madman, fuming with rage, called out, Creatures of the earth, hear me. To me you will come. I just thought that although he was menacing, he was a fool to believe that in the end he would win. He must have read my thoughts of contempt and very menacingly said, I am no fool. Then, with a malicious laugh and with irony said to those poor souls, Have you heard? She called me a fool. Then with sarcasm, Dear beloved souls, I will make you pay for her sayings. He was ready to take a new lava to throw. I turned to Jesus in despair, asking him to do something, to stop him. Jesus replied, I will stop him. Vasula writes, The minute Satan had lifted his arm to throw lava, it gave him great pain, and he screeched with pain, cursing Jesus. Then to me, Witch, go! Yes, go, leave us. Voices from souls found at the gates of hell were crying, Save us, save us, the footnote reads. Souls at the gates of hell, in a very low purgatory, can be lifted by our prayers, saying, saving them to less torment. She continues to write. Then someone came forward. I understood it was one of Satan's adepts. And he, Satan, asked him, Are you on your duty? Are you doing what I have asked you to do? Hurt her, destroy her, discourage her. 
I knew Satan was referring to me. He wanted this demon to discourage me meeting Jesus by giving the wrong word or destroying the message I get. I asked Jesus if we could leave. He said, Come, let us leave. I want you to write all this down. I will edit for you. Be near me, beloved. I want my children to understand that their souls and the I want my children to understand that their souls live and that evil exists. All that is written in my blessed word is not a myth. Satan exists and tries to seek the ruin of your souls. I suffer to see you slumbering and unaware of his existence. I come giving you warnings, giving you signs, but how many of you will read my warnings like fairy tales? Beloved, I am your saviour. Do not deny my word. Turn to me and feel the pangs of love I have for you. Why, why are you so willing to thrust yourselves at Satan's feet? O oh, come, all of you who believe no more in me, come to me, all who have forsaken me. Come and behold, for this is the time to listen. All you who wound my soul, arise, revive, and see my light. Do not fear me, I have forgiven you. I will take your sins and my blood will wash them. I will condone your weakness and forgive you. Come and absorb the dew of righteousness, restoring your souls which are heading for perdition. I come to look for you. I come in search of my lost sheep. Will I, as good shepherd, see you lost and remain indifferent? Vasula, are you willing to pray for all those in perdition? She asks, Now, Jesus? The Lord answers, Yes, now. Vasula says, I wouldn't know what to say, Lord. The Lord answers, I will teach you. Listen to me and repeat after me. O Holy Father, by thy power and with thy mercy, I implore you, gather all your sheep, forgive them, and let them return to your beloved home. Look upon them as your children, and with thy hand bless them. Amen. Come, come in my heart, Vasula, for therein is profound peace.